All right, coming up next, what should be a good lightweight clash between the prodigy BJ Penn and Gilbert Dorino Burns. For my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of... 20 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durino Burns! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku, Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion and the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, the And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Ready? Ready? Let's go. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful punch. Couple of chins here being tested early. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kick back to back, and just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. He loaded up there on that high kick. Left hook, right hand. Oh! And he lands a big left hand there. pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at the 
turtle in that kick. Able to check that kick as well. Came of inches right there. Bro. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Effective punch there by DJ Penn. Was blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That right hand landed. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot that will finish the fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting his dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Both fighters get up now. Nice punch lands over the top. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Big power punch land. Now we get back to range. They continue to exchange. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume. Oh, inside, he's hooked now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping to. Oh, big left. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. Oh, huge right hand! He's hurt. Watch the punch. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anyway. Oh, nice jab. Oh. What a fantastic. Oh, smoke. Gets up again here, but hurt. different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Nice leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Real nice body kick. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right.
fight until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Yeah.